All right, so this is what we got with the increasing the pressure, which kind of feels like cannon fire. So let's actually build that cannon fire example, which is right here on the right. You can see it's pretty simple. Uh, I'm The only thing I'm changing is the collider a bit to reference the shape of a, a spherical shape of a cannon. And then we are also emitting the same thing, but this time I'm just emitting with a sphere. Let me disable this for a second, just so you guys can see how that looks. Bam. So just this by itself feels like a cannon fire simulation. And I looked at some of the Pirates of the Caribbean references uh, when they were using real uh, practical cannons for that. Uh, but I did want to have, I had an issue here with the, the shape, right? So this is fine, but I wanted it to break it up a bit. So what I did is I used a pyroburst source. Oops, where is it? Here it is. And I set it to muzzle flash. And then I put it under an angle, rasterize the values. We only need density and velocity, as you know. We rename them to influence val and influence and also density. So this serves as my emitter plus my influence forces. I plug that in and if we sim it now, we're going to have a bit of a breakup in the beginning of the emitter. So it's not just a mushroom. You can see it has a much nicer silhouette, especially in the beginning because we are actually sourcing in that muzzle. So in the beginning you will get this shape. So dial this to taste and then yeah, we sim it. It's going to poof it out just like that. And that will create your cannon fire effect. Now, obviously this is missing some of the bells and whistles, uh, like sparks and fire and stuff like that. But, uh, I'm sure you can come up with a cool effect and add all the necessary layers to this. And let's quickly cache this. Fine. And then I retime it a bit to really get that explosiveness happening in the beginning. So let's do a quick preview. Where are we here? That's fine. Bam. Yeah, feels pretty good. Now keep in mind this is still a quite a low resolution simulation, so uh, you can get a lot higher with this, but it, it feels pretty good. Let's take a look at wedging in the next video.